Hi there, welcome to my kitchen. So today what I'm gonna make is a smoked cheese filled meatball on my Traeger grill. And I'm also gonna make a homemade marinara sauce to top my meatballs and some garlic cheese buns to make kind of like a meatball sandwich. Um, so first thing I need to do, I'm gonna show you how I make my marinara. I'm gonna start by taking my tomatoes that I picked from my garden, nice and fresh. I'm gonna make a little X on each tomato like this perfect little X and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do that with all of them throw them in some boiling water which I've already got going for about 30 seconds and then I'm gonna throw them in an ice bath to stop the cooking and that should also make it a little easier to handle and the skin should peel right off uh, once I'm done that I'm gonna show you what I add to my amazing uh, marinara okay so right here I've uh, sauteed some onions and some garlic in a little bit of uh, olive oil about two tablespoons of olive oil and I got it just nice and kind of loosened. And now what I'm gonna add are my crushed tomatoes that I peeled nicely and I've already uh, crushed it with the um, potato masher. So I'm gonna add that in there. Okay. So if you've added your tomatoes, you can give it a little stir. Get all the onion and garlic mixed in there. Um, I'm also gonna add about a half a cup of white wine. Smells good. Okay, uh, for seasoning now, what I'm gonna add, I've got my uh, temperature on kind of medium here. For now, just, just while I get everything incorporated, then I'm gonna turn it down to low and uh, just let it simmer. So for seasoning, I've got two teaspoons of salt, one teaspoon of uh, pepper, and one teaspoon of oregano. So I'm gonna add my seasoning to my tomatoes. And I'm also going to add about um, a tablespoon of sugar because uh, the tomatoes can kind of be a little bit tart sometimes and this will just add a little touch of sweetness. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it simmer for about 30 to 45 minutes uh, and then I'm going to taste it and kind of add as I go. Um, I'm also going to add some hot peppers that I got out of my garden. They're time bombs. Um, I'm going to add those. If you don't want to add those or if you don't like spice too much, then uh, you can always leave this part out. Or uh, another option is some crushed chili peppers that you can add to for a little heat. Uh, I'm going to give this a stir here. I'm going to wait to add any chili peppers just because I added those hot peppers. I'm going to sample it later and see if it... Uh, if it's hot enough or I might need to add a little bit more heat, we'll see. So now I'm just gonna turn it down to low and just let it simmer for about 30 minutes. At the end, about five minutes before it's done cooking, I'm gonna add some fresh basil that I also got from my garden and some um, tomato paste, about three to four tablespoons of tomato paste just to thicken it up and give it a nice depth of richness. All right, so I'm gonna let this simmer and then I'll, uh, I'll show you the finished product. All right, so while my marinara is simmering, I'm going to show you how I make my uh, cheese stuffed meatballs. So um, I've got two pounds of ground beef lean and about half a pound of Italian sausage. So uh, what I'm gonna add to this is one egg. And about a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese, quarter cup of barbecue sauce. I used um, just HP, but you can use any. You can even use ketchup. Ketchup works good too. Um, I'm also going to add about a half a cup of um, it's supposed to be breadcrumbs. I don't have any, so I'm using Ritz crackers, which I just smooshed up with a hammer and a Ziploc bag, and it works perfect. So I'm going to add those in there. And then for my seasoning, I've got here um, two teaspoons of salt, two teaspoons of black pepper, uh, one teaspoon of onion powder, and one teaspoon of garlic powder. I'm going to sprinkle that in here too. So now, um, all I'm going to do is give this a really good mix so it's all combined properly. And then I'm going to show you how I, uh, how I prepare my meatballs. Okay, so this is how I put my meatballs together. I use a one-third um, cup to scoop the meat, so they all wind up about the same size. Um, I'm gonna grab my scoop of meat. Okay, 
So I form it into a ball, put it on my cutting board here, and I just flatten it with my hand. And then I've got my cheese mixture, which is just, like I said, just the jalapeno cream cheese and one cup of cheddar cheese grated. I'm gonna grab a good dollop of that. I wanna say a little less than a, a tablespoon, maybe like two teaspoons. Throw that in the middle. And then I'm gonna fold it over, fold the meat over like this. And then I just form it in my hand into a nice ball, make sure all the edges are sealed to try and keep as much as that cheese filling inside when it cooks. Some will seep out, but that's okay. You'll still get some in there. So that's how I do my meatballs. I'm gonna keep going with the rest of my uh, my meatballs here and then I'll show you how I cook it all. All right, so now I'm gonna smoke my meatballs. I've got my awesome looking giant cheese stuffed meatballs. I'm going to um, throw them on my Traeger grill, the Pro 34. Uh, I've got it set to the smoke setting, which is about between 160 and 180. I'm gonna throw these on for about 30 minutes. And then uh, after that, I'm gonna crank the heat up to about 300 and I'm gonna cook them for between, I wanna say 25 to 30 minutes. I'll keep a close eye on them at that point. And I want an internal temperature of about between 155 and 160. Um, I've got hickory pellets in my smoker. So I think it's gonna be an awesome uh, smoke flavor on those people. All right, so I'm gonna let them ride now and uh, I'll show you the final product soon. All right, so now I'm going to make my buns. Um, I made my own homemade garlic butter, which is just one stick of butter, uh, five, clo five good sized cloves of garlic, and some parsley. Um, if you don't like garlic, you can always tame it down on the garlic, but it's delicious. So we bought some nice fresh hoagie buns and sliced them in half. You add some of the garlic butter and then shredded cheddar cheese. And I'm gonna broil it in the oven for about five minutes, just until the cheese is all melted and the buns start to get crispy. And then I'll plate for you and show you the finished product. All right, so everything's done. We're ready, we're gonna plate. So I've got my amazing looking smoked meatballs, cheese stock, of course. Um, they wound up taking a bit longer than I expected. I would say they took about, after the smoking process, they took about 45 minutes and I turned it up to 325 for the first 30 and then cranked it to 350 and finished it off, took another 10 to 15 minutes. Internal temp was 160, perfect. Um, and then I cut one open just to make sure it was all done and cooked and that's what it looked like. Perfection, nailed it. All right, I've got my beautiful, delicious tasting marinara sauce here that I made. Oh, it's so good. Um, and then my meatballs. So I'm gonna throw three meatballs into my marinara sauce. And I'm gonna just coat them so they're nice and saucy. All right, when that's done, my hands are nice and clean. I'm gonna take them out, put them on my garlic cheese bread that turned out amazing as well. Okay. This is a big sandwich. There's no messing around here. My fingers. Okay. And then I'm going to top it all with some more cheese because there isn't enough cheese in this sandwich. Some Parmesan. Oh, yum. That looks amazing. All right. Once I'm done the Parmesan, a little sprinkle of the fresh basil on top. Mmm, it smells so good. I cannot wait to dig into this. It's a bit of a big sandwich, but you know what? That's fine. Fork and a knife might work. There you have it. This is my smoked cheese-filled meatballs sub. So